Now to four stories you need to know at four. Drive-by shooters on the run after killing a man in Little Village. Police say the driver of an SUV that you see here in this video was stopped at a red light with children inside early this morning. Another car pulled up and fired. That victim tried to get away, but you see crashed into that building. It's at Cermak and Western. The three children inside were not hurt. Former Alderman Danny Solis pleaded not guilty at his arraignment today. We also learned in court that the city of Chicago wants to intervene in this this case and provide a statement as a victim of Solis's crimes. Solis made a deal with federal prosecutors admitting to a zoning change in exchange for campaign donations. He's also required to testify in any federal case. If he cooperates for three years, those charges will be dropped. Keep your masks on if you plan to travel on public transportation. The federal mask mandate on trains, buses, and airplanes remains in place for at least another two weeks. The airline industry wanted the Biden administration to drop it when it was supposed to expire on April 18th. And finally, hundreds armed with resumes and umbrellas in hopes of landing a job with United Airlines. A career fair just wrapped up about an hour ago at the United Center. The Chicago-based airline is hiring hundreds, everybody from flight attendants to customer service reps to ramp service workers.